our friend Brenda Fricker now reads Voice by Magella Kelly. To go into the home was to be given your voice on the spoon and told, swallow it. When they shaved our heads, our voices recoiled on our tongues like dead nettles in empty cups. When they took our names away, the tiny venomous hairs of shame bore untold holes in our throats. When they insisted on silence on the birthing table, just to remind us we had sinned, the itchy hives of guilt distended red and angry in our bellies. And when she said, the child of your sin is dead, my heart was an extinguished fireplace. But when I opened my mouth to cry out, I spoke only in a thin, grey wisp of smoke. 